after an epic game of Twilight Struggle, you want to wind down the night, and you're looking at the shelf, and you see 1960. Join us as we walk through the cards here on Legendary Tactics. And we're going to go card by card for 1960, The Making of a President. And yeah, and this, this is be... a, this is such a great game. I love it. And yes. I suggested it at the end of the night, but this could go any time of the night. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yes, it could. Yeah, it's it's a really, you know, I think it's a great um, introduction to this style of game. If you're looking to introduce someone to Twilight Struggle or uh, Imperial Struggle or um, in 1989, the, I feel this one is the kind of the lightest of the of the bunch. Agreed, agreed. But yep, it's not yep. any less of a game. It's actually really fun. Um, no, no. So hard so fought kind of game. Yeah, and indeed, indeed. And there's just a lot of that. That the whole the whole mechanic is right there, in the vein of those other games you mentioned too. It's all the similar mechanics, which is great. Yes. So let's see the first card. So a new frontier. The Kennedy player may discard any number of cards from their hand and draw the same number of replacements from the campaign deck. So if you've played, uh, um, you know, Twilight Struggle, this is uh, this is like the card. Um, I, it's asked not what your country would do for, do for you. you. Oh yes, yes, yes. I can yes. see. The, I can see the picture anyway. <laughs> yes. So you can you can um, basically it's great, but it is situational. Yeah. I agreed. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah, you've you got agree. a lot of cards that you really like, you want to play, then it doesn't have it's much useless. benefit. Yeah, and you're definitely playing this early in the round. You're not holding this card to the end. Yeah, exactly. So it's really if you've gotten a bad deal. But the other thing too, if you think about it, is um, you can discard any number of cards and draw the same number up. But it does cost an action. And what's different in this game compared to a game like Twilight Struggle is you can't carry a card over to the next nope. round. Every card gets right? taken taken out so that turn. Yep. It's either you're you're gonna benefit from it a lot or you're not. And you yeah. only get two campaign points as compensation if you happen to um, you know, have a, a decent hand that you want to play out. Now, if there was say one one of the events for your uh, opponent that was ex like exceptionally bad, would you use this card for that one event? Seems like a high yeah, cost. That's, yeah, that's a great question. It depends, I think, on the on the bottom of the card. So if it's a card I can use in debates, or if it has a state uh, that I can use in election day, yeah, uh, then yep. I I'm fine with hold you know with using it for that purpose, but. Um, if okay. I, if, if it's one of those things where I have to play one bad event or the other, yeah, I would say I would, I would probably use it if it, the event is bad enough. Yeah. True enough. But, okay. But remember it, you can generally throw it into the debate or, you know, throw it in like, you know, you can potentially use it in other ways. Sure. Um, and it, yeah. I agreed. Yeah. Yep. But you just can't and it is a, a new frontier over to the next turn, which is. <laughs> which is unfortunate not, uh, not yeah good. yeah so it is worth two campaign points and it goes with the military track yep the military issue and uh, it's kennedy uh kennedy's uh to kennedy's benefit in the debate and it comes from rhode island so we're gonna put yeah. this over to <laughs> okay <laughs> but we will keep this with the kennedy uh the kennedy player for now i suppose eh yes sure all right <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna try to line these cards up and put them sort of geographically where they belong. So yes, that sounds great. So bear with us here. Okay, next card. So the next card is Harvard Brain Trust. Four campaign points. Yes. And uh, it's a it is a, a special debate card. Yeah, so it's a debate event. So you when you play it, it's like you bank it for the debate. So if you get this in turn one. <laughs> you, and you decide to play for the event you're not actually going to benefit from it in, until you know turn well between really turn six <laughs> so yeah you've got a long way to see some bonus <laughs> yeah now now in yeah in the debates the kennedy player gains plus one to their campaign point total for each issue so that is potentially worth three campaign points when you're you know squaring off uh, in the debate but well, here's the thing. It's worth four campaign points if you use it on the board. Yes. And uh, now you don't get any rest cubes, which is unfortunate. But still, um, the other thing is uh, you're actually, you know, you're banking it to only gain three. And 
you're probably going to be putting points towards the, uh, you know, the debates as it is anyway. Or you, you may consider that. So it's really, it's maybe going to help you out in two of the three <coughs> three sections, right? Yeah, to me, yeah, it's this one. I, I don't think I could give up the four campaign points in general because no. at most, you know, the Kennedy player, like it can potentially win you three issues, which is great. But you may have won two of them anyway. You know, yeah, you may or, have... or for sure one, right? So maybe it helps you with the second one and, and maybe yeah. the third if you're very yeah, lucky. It, but it's a it's kind of a slight edge, and especially giving up an action and four campaign points uh, in the first uh, part of the game. Uh, I That's don't know. a lot. That's a it's, lot. It's a tough call, but I'm probably taking the campaign points on this one. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you there. And yeah. it is the civil rights, uh, and it, it, it goes generally. Sure. It's, it's a Kennedy. It's Kennedy it's another, side. Another, another Pennsylvania. Demo- another Democrat, yes. So you want to drag it over? All right, let's see where... Oh, we're going to go take it to Pennsylvania, or are we going to leave we're it with... We're going to drag uh, it to Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, we'll drag it to Kennedy. I'll bring it down to him. All right, two events for him. Look at he that. He appreciates that. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So the next card up is Norman Vincent Peel. Uh, power of positive thinking, I believe. <laughs> oh, is it, oh, geez, is it, eh? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm an pretty influential sure that. clergyman. <laughs> so the the yeah, so this is a three campaign point card. Uh, gain a rest cube. Yep, and the Nixon player may subtract a total of five state support from Kennedy anywhere. No more than one per state. This event is though prevented by the Greater Houston Ministerial Association event. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Voila. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that yeah, one is so. Oh, all right. um, so the the Norman Vincent Peel card. Let's take a chat about this one first. Sure. Um, so obviously, very devastating for um, Kennedy. This is a, a very strong event, and if you think about it, um, it, it has a lot of value because mainly, you know, for the event because. It's not just removing the five state support from Kennedy anywhere, but if you factor in the travel costs of oh, getting yeah. around to those, yeah, um, yep, 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 it's definitely worth more. I mean, potentially worth, you know, I don't know, probably Six, as much seven. as nine, I guess, if you did the math on it. Sure, sure, yeah, it's it's de- yeah, it's very, very, it's it's economical for sure. Yes, so this is one that that Kennedy is going to want to prevent, very likely. Right, um, but now the cost. Here's the thing, though. I'm just looking over the Greater Houston Ministerial Association, and the cost is pretty exorbitant, I think. Yes. Yeah, so move the Kennedy uh, candidate token to Texas without paying normal travel costs. Gain one momentum marker and may add a total of five state support anywhere, no more than one per state. Okay, actually, that's a lot better. <laughs> yeah. So this event prevents the Baptist ministers, Norman Vincent Peel, and Puerto Rican bishops events. Okay, so there's three. So, yeah, so this this is an event that you are going to give those four campaign points up for sure to play the event. Yes, that one is is well worth it, unless you know moving to going to Texas really takes you out of. You know, I could see it late in the game if this game tur- if this card turns up fairly late, and especially yeah, if even, those other e- cards have already passed. Um, it depends. It's even then though. E- even then though, if you look at it, he gets a yeah. momentum marker and he gets to place five state support anywhere. Yeah, that's so true. But it's only have... more than one per state, though. That's the only trade-off. So if you right. that if is you want to go to you know Texas and pour support in, you're going to have to use the campaign points. Yes, yes. So you you maybe want to time this event to try and get that so that when you want to go down to Texas to do that as well. So you... yeah, and that's that's where I find this game is very. It feels very different from Twilight Struggle because you can't carry cards over turn over turn. So. You get it in your hand, and you got to roll with whatever you get. So, um, but I would say in general, if it's early enough in the game, I'm playing this event to prevent. <laughs> oh sure, because you can always go down to Texas anyway and just build it up a little yep. bit. If so. it's early enough in the game, it's well worth well worth playing. It's a no brainer. Yeah. Um, as Agreed. is uh, the um, as is the Norman Vincent Peel event for Nixon, provided it's not blocked. Right, 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 right. And yeah. uh, these, so this one gives Nixon a. Boost, boost in the debates for economy and it's a military card for Kennedy. And uh, so, so we'll, the consensus we'll is if, if, we, if we can play both of these events, we are playing both of these events, correct? Well, yeah, for both sides. Yeah. If we're so able the, to, if we're able yeah, to. Yeah. Yes. 
At least for All Norman right. Vincent Peale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you 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 grab the Kennedy card and drag it to him, and I'll drag the uh, the Nixon card over. Okay, and another one for Kennedy. He is just rolling yeah, in the cards this, the, this round here. Rolling in the cards today. <laughs> yes. Okay, and our next one is Peace Without Surrender. Yeah. Two campaign points. Gain two rest cubes. Uh, yeah. Defense. I would say in general, like it. This is again a situational kind of card. If if Kennedy already has three cubes in defense, and and it's lower in the on the issue track that I'm not playing this event. No. Because that's only going to benefit him, obviously. Um, but if, if Nixon, you know, needs to reinforce or or, or even grab uh, control of uh, the defense uh, issue, then... and But, I, you know, I think it could be worth it, but I'm, I think I'm going to wait and see how the turn plays out and play this yes. later on in the turn yes. and maybe snag something right at the end. Uh, that could very well be it. Yeah, a good strategy. I was I was also thinking you could play it early to gain the quicker upper hand in defense. Yes, there's that too. Yeah, um, it is really worth two two campaign points. So it's I mean it's I, I suppose you could just place one on each of it depending on where where they are, and you could yeah. put one on defense somewhere else. So, well, this is just it, right? Because it's really the placing one issue support in defense is really only worth it's one. only one that's only one campaign point i mean wherever the issue is is where it is but yeah um it's i would say it it it, it could work but it has you have to be in a position to um to have control of the defense issue at the end of at the end of this event yeah let's um, drag that one over to the yeah to events. nixon over here or to nixon i suppose it's a nixon event isn't it all right yeah it is Okay, next up. All right, so then we roll to... Nixon egged in Michigan. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nixon was pelted with eggs in both Grand Rapids and Michigan. Things uh, must be gone. Gee, yes. I wonder if that would happen Things... to, in today, like today's elections. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it might. <laughs> there, was a, there was something down in New Zealand or something, I believe, last year where... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a senator, I, I believe, got egged. But uh, oh, wow. yeah, <laughs> have to YouTube that later. <laughs> uh, throwing eggs is funny. In the meantime, uh, anyway. Nixon egged is worth two... <laughs> that's right, that's right. Two campaign points. You gain two rest cubes. So that's kind of good. Yeah, and so we'll take this one over to Michigan and have a chat about it. Yes. So move the Nixon candidate token to Michigan. The Nixon player must subtract... One state support in Michigan and may not spend campaign points on campaigning actions in the Midwest for the remainder of the turn. So obviously Nixon is not taking this event. <laughs> no, no. This is but actually a nice Kennedy. little power play for Kennedy. If if he can pull it off at the right time, like early round, and then he can sweep yep. into like to the Rust Belt into the uh, into the uh, the Midwest, he could do a fair yep. bit of damage in there. Yep. Yeah, this is a great early card, and uh, and could potentially. You know, hurt Nixon's support in Michigan if he's built up a you know a little bit of support there. Uh, it's great to drag him. See, the funny thing is about this card is it drags you into the Midwest region, and then he has to spend campaign points to get out of the region because he's right? not allowed to spend points there. That's right. Well, yeah. So there's no point in him being there, I guess, unless you know he he wants to spend. There's no point in him campaigning there anyway. If he wants to spend his campaign points on media or uh, issues or whatever, then that's right. fine. But it, yeah. it kind of takes him potentially out of the the game. I think this could be a great card to play in the last round before the election. That's right. That's right. When you're when you're gunning for some state control, yes, yeah. and things are up in the air. Absolutely. Yeah. Er, the earlier you play it out, like it's going to be less effective. I agree, hundred percent. But yeah, if yeah. you, and if you, you are actually, this... uh, you're a pro at doing that. Actually, you are yes. really, <laughs> really good at uh, nailing those last, uh, the last turns there. Yeah, but he's going to have to. Nixon is going to have to rely on events to get any, uh, you know, any um, you momentum. Know, in, any in momentum the going in in uh, in the Midwest because placing any. Uh, yeah. Cubes yeah. there is going to be expensive. So we're going to move this down to Kennedy. Whoops. Okay. All right. Coming up to next our next one. one, we have 
fish rising, rising food, food prices. prices. Over to the issues track here. All right. So, so uh, yeah, this... rising food prices. Three campaign points gain one rest cube. Yeah, the economy moves up one space on the issue track, and Nixon gains two support in economy. So that actually works out even if you're thinking about, you know, spending spending campaign points on it. Yep, but it has the benefit of um, moving the economy up on the track as well. So again, late in the turn, you play this, so the other player can't respond very, very well, if at all. Um, that could be very powerful. But if the, if the economy... Um, issue is loaded up already with either either Nixon's influence <laughs> already there, or yeah. it's uh, it's you know loaded up with Kennedy's uh, cubes. Then I don't know what like yeah, that's could, a good point. It, it depends on the value of moving up a space on the issue track, I guess. Yeah, and this this would be a great card if you were the last play of the round. Yes. So you yeah, just drop and this and down you flip, as your final you turn, the, and uh, the issue as well. You, you you bump the issue up, and if you can flip it, yes, yeah. So yeah. I think, I think my strategy for using this card would be to stay within, like, letting your opponent be one cube up, only. Yeah, yeah, and then in, flip in it in the last move, and and then, and then, bump then as your it up last save, play, say even well, even second place, but first place would be great. No, if you're yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. It's these kind of issue, these kind of cards that um, when if you can manipulate the issue track in a in a smart way, you, it can gain you a lot of um, momentum in your in the campaign. Yes, so, yes great event. So let's put this. We'll put this down by uh, Kennedy. Oh here. no, Nixon. That one's well, it's a Nixon, Nixon event. Oh, yep. he gains the uh, the benefits. Oh right, right, right. The event is okay. Yeah, Northern Blacks. Three campaign points, gain one rescue. Okay. We'll put this one by. Well, let's put this one by the issue track again. Sure. Yeah, it's 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 issue related. Uh, this so it's um the the leader in the civil rights may add a total of five state support in Illinois, Michigan, and New York. No more than two per state. Yeah. So this one's a neutral event. Either either side can use it. Yep. But um, it depends whether you're the leader in civil rights. <laughs> well, that is true. Yeah, you definitely. So there's where you're gunning for civil rights control. I mean, because really, uh, it's it's worth a plus two. Yeah. Uh, compared to what you would get in campaign points. Now, the risk in this one, I mean, yeah, you get three campaign points. It's pretty decent. But the real risk is if you play this card and the other player decides to spend the momentum marker to trigger it, like this yes. is one that you may want to spend two momentum markers to block. Uh, depending on the situation and the time of the game and, and yeah, how, but how New much... York is always in play. Michigan generally in play. Illinois is it generally always, in play. Yeah, so those these are, three are yeah, some you're key right. states. So yeah, yeah. You know, that can that can be a real pain. So that uh, may be question one for that you. And this is just a rules can... verification, uh, NATO. Um, when you want to play the event on, on your opponent's played card, do you get to choose if it's played first or second? Um, sorry, when you when you play So here's 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 the scenario that I just envisioned, okay? Yeah. Uh, so I I have this card, you're currently leading in civil rights by by two, say. Yep. I spend the three campaign points to remove your lead in civil rights, but you wanted to play it for the momentum card. Does my play happen before you can play your momentum chips? Um, play, I think, to, to, yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Because I, I, I would imagine that my, uh, my choice comes first, and then you have the option at the end of my turn to play, to take the event. After the card has been played for campaign points and resolved, there it then is. Then the opposing okay. player may trigger the event, which is what I thought. Okay, so yeah, just a quick rules check there. That's good to know. So yep. yeah, you could actually, you know, <laughs> worst case scenario, you could also squander. The campaign points to if you're no if your if your opponent was in a reach, you yep. could knock you could knock two two of his, his tiles off of civil rights and, and uh, yes and you could potentially yeah. call it neutral. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Like it's, so, yeah, you probably want to spend the campaign points to gain control of civil rights, 
and then if it's practical and then you could um play the you know the event would not be triggered yeah but now, if i have this card in hand i'm looking to own civil rights before i play it yes but here's the thing what if it turns up in the last round of the game like the last turn before the election oh, oh. you know what it still is worth five points and you still get an issue on you still get you'd still be leading in civil rights so there's still well what if you're not leading in civil rights though that's the trick so let's say your opponent's leading in civil rights mm -hmm. but you can overturn it or you can neutralize let's say there's two cubes in there and you can neutralize it but it costs you a whole card three campaign points yeah yeah that's... like that's that's one of those delicious decisions that is all about oh. hand management and mitigation right right i think what i'm looking at is my card that i played immediately before this card <laughs> yes yeah but how, but really if do you I don't have two to... momentum markers to prevent the event from uh, being played then yeah you got you got to really make a tough decision on this one because that's a, that is a pretty powerful card actually especially late game yeah Exactly. Yeah. So All right. So now that's a that's a combo card. So I, I, we can uh, we can yeah. leave it with the issues even. Yeah, we can leave it down there. Sure. Okay. Next up, we have opposition research. Yes. Opposition research. Four campaign points. Gain zero rest cubes, of course. The Kennedy player reveals all cards in their hand. The Nixon player may then spend three campaign points. This is an interesting card for Nixon. Um, you're not playing this late game, that's for sure, or, or late round. You're going to play this yes. like as one of your first plays. I think it's a no-brainer. This, if you get it in hand, I think this is a no-brainer for the first card of the round. Yeah, yeah, that's what, exactly when you'd play it. Three campaign points is very respectable, and the information you get is even more important. Yes. So I would agree. I think you got to yeah. play this for the for the event. Yeah, and, and again, if if um, Kennedy can easily mitigate this one by just saving it till last, because obviously you don't want the, um, you know, you don't want the the uh, the other player, the, the the Nixon player, to see your cards. The only downside is that if Nixon has a momentum marker. They can trade that momentum marker to trigger the event, and they get three campaign points. Yeah, don't so even forget you also get the yeah. card, see your cards. They still get a benefit. They still will be getting those three campaign points, which is kind of punishing. It is, and it yeah. makes this card only a plus one value for um, for Kennedy. So that's not a very yeah you know, not a very rich card. Yeah, it's but actually this pretty be punishing. One that, yeah. yeah, what's that? It's a pretty punishing card, to be honest, for uh, uh, for Nixon. For Kennedy. Oh, sorry, for Kennedy. Yeah, for Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. and it's uh, it's yeah. a great Nixon card. Yes, it is. I think it's a great Nixon card. So yeah, yeah, that's good. Right. So we'll put him over near Nixon here. Oh, you got you. You grab him. Yeah, sure. There we go. So we have right. fifty stars. The last one in our video for today. And uh, so two campaign points and you gain two rest cubes and whichever player has more total state support in Alaska and Hawaii may add a total of five state support anywhere. No more than one per state. So here's what's interesting. Uh, my for my first blush of this card is that it's worth two campaign points if you play it for the points. Yeah. But you have to spend a turn basically or some way to get a some uh, influence into Alaska or Hawaii for yes. this card to shine. So yes. you have to sort of burn a turn in, <laughs> in the, in the past to make this card really kind of step up. Yeah. I mean, you could, if you chose to, if you wanted to, you could, uh, you know, take the time to go to Alaska or Hawaii. They're not worth a lot of, uh, electoral no, no. college votes, but you could, it really, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's worth a special trip, but if you've gotten an event which allowed you to play some influence or some some support cubes, sorry, um, in this in those states, then it it's something that you could either plan for ahead of time, knowing this card's in the deck, um, or you could um, you know plan for it in in your turn that you get the card in hand, and you can maybe pull something off that way. But I wouldn't necessarily make a special trip to Hawaii or Alaska. Oh. 
that's just that's for a this. lot of a lot of traveling around for for this card yeah yeah you got to travel you got to then place a support and then you got to go back so yeah it wouldn't be worth it otherwise but it's a nice little event i mean otherwise oh, it's, it's, it's only two event. campaign points so i'd much rather have the event if i can pull it off and and the two rest cubes too right so that's it's actually yep. a pretty it's if you can have the conditions oh this is a great card yeah yeah so um yeah it's i mean it's it's well i should say it's a great event if you can pull it off but it's a it's a two campaign points are pretty meager really oh I mean, the rest yeah cubes, they're yeah the rest cubes are really there to offset you know if someone gets a really low uh campaign point hand yeah the, then the rest cubes kind of skew the um you know skew the uh the the, the bag <laughs> with the That's cube right. bag yeah, a little with, bit yeah uh, a little bit more you know the political capital direction. bag i should say uh they it skews it with um more cubes to your favor so That's you're right. more That's likely right. to to get the initiative and that sort of thing so but yeah it's an interesting event and uh you know definitely if you can pull it off it's definitely worthwhile but as long as it's not going to cost you uh, much in the way of actions or what have yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. So if you enjoyed our first uh, our first videos of this, uh, the Card by Card series of 1960, uh, please stay tuned for uh, upcoming episodes. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. This and has been Legendary Tactics. <laughs>